Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn for Cat Scrappiness, and I am so excited because today I'm going to be bringing you an under the sea Christmas moment, if you will. Um, all of the items I will link down below if you want to find out more about them. Uh, the first thing that I'm using, this is a lawn fawn stamp. It is called Christmas Fishes, and I think it's so cute because it comes with a ton of different um, little faces that you can put on there. I opted to actually kind of draw mine, um, but you can do whatever you want with the stamps. It's really a great versatile set. And what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna color them in. And once I color them in, I'll talk you through the next steps of my card. Once we have everything colored in, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna build a portal. And I'm gonna build it actually on the cardstock. And I decided that I am gonna be using the Cat Scrappiness stitched, uh, double stitched circle die, which if you've ever seen in my videos before, I absolutely love her dies. Um, this one has the double stitch line. And what I love about this one is that not only do you get um, your outside ring with a stitch but it also cuts out a perfect circle again with a stitch so it's almost like if you have multiple cards to make you can use the circle that I'm going to cut but then also have the other one to use for another project. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually going to make it look like we're kind of looking into a little circular porthole or fish tank and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out right into the cardstock.
Now that I've got it cut out, I'm going to go ahead and apply the background, and I'm going to use the blue that I found in my stash of paper. It looks like a sky, but I think it'll look beautiful like under the water. I went ahead and put it on the inside of the card because when you're looking through the front of the fish tank, if you will, I want it to be behind where the fish are going to be. I'm just using a clear bag and I'm going to go ahead and put that on the front hole that I just cut out. And then what I'm going to do is actually start building up my pattern. Once I had the perfect little pocket created and glued, I opened it up and then we're just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of old school Elmer's glue because it dries clear. And I'm going to put it right on the front of the images that I just colored because I want them to stick to the clear bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to build up the scene and I'm going to build it backwards. So I won't see how the finished look uh, is until we flip this over together.
I decided at the last minute that I wanted to add in some Cat Scrappiness Christmas Candy Sprinkles. Um, I thought it'd be really fun to turn this into a shaker card. It wasn't my original intention, but they were sitting there staring at me and I went, oh my gosh, yes, they need to be in this card. So instead of bubbles, they have little peppermint candies that are floating through. And then what I'm going to do is just close this bag. And again, I've got all that glue. You can see it on there. And I'm just going to seal this up. And what's nice is it made a nice little pocket that now the candies can kind of float around in. The characters themselves are stuck down, so we know they're not going to shift anywhere as long as the bag doesn't go anywhere as well. I am so happy with the way this card turned out. I think the shakers, they look so cute. They were the Christmas candy sprinkles and they are the perfect addition to this card. I love how that die cut cut out the perfect little circle. I feel like everything just sort of came together perfectly in this card and I'm really, really happy with it. So cute. Well, I want to take a quick moment and just say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I inspired you to want to go ahead and try something maybe new that you've never tried before. Don't be afraid. It's worth a try. Um, again, my name is Jessica Lynn, and this card was created for cat scrappiness. Um, I'll link all the details below about what I used and everything like that so you don't have to try and find it. But also, we ask that you please go ahead and subscribe, like, and then we'd love to hear from you down below. Thank you again and I hope you have a great day.